Okay, all right, hello everyone. Welcome to February 2000, I have to stand like this because I don't fit in the frame. February 2022, that looks weird. Standing up straight, we'll do it live, we're doing it live. February 2022, mug of the month, wow. Clap it up, clap it up, we made it. We made it through February, we got some good mugs. Real quick before we run through the actual mugs and the rest of it, housekeeping items how this works again. You guys send me the mugs. I come through them. I will choose, which I'm going to do right now live for you. I will choose three. Those three out of however many submissions will then be put to a vote for you. So I choose the three and then you guys decide the rest. If you can think of a better way to do this or ways to improve it, let me know but I can assure you that my three selections will be prime because I am dedicated to the mug game. So, with that being said, it's not just the three mugs, it is the hot three mugs. Not top three mugs, hot three mugs. From these hot three mugs, you guys will choose one that person who wins will receive three things. One, a shirt that I am sporting right now. This is the prototype. May change a little bit, but you can see you got the wolf, W, W for win slash wolvie, and it says month of the mug club 2022. So if you win, you're in the month of the mug club for 2022. Second, you get a pound of coffee free. Boom, easy. And number three, and I'm on my fourth finger, but it is number three. You are automatically entered into the mug of the year competition, which at the end of the year, I decide we're gonna do all the mug of the, mugs of the months up against each other, mug of the year winner. We'll get to those awards or whatever like that down the line. I'm trying to keep this video relatively short. All right, so. I have the mugs printed out here, pictures of them, but they are also on my profile in the highlights, so you'll be able to see them better there. Printed them out just for a little visual representation. Put them up there, and then choose the three. So, here we go. The first submission that we got was from Alex Schuster with the Remain in Light Roast coffee mug. That is a Talking Heads reference, for those of you that don't know. We love a good music reference, it's a great album and a coffee pun on there. <laughs> nice work, shoes. Submission number one in the books. Number two from Ronhurst, Philadelphia. This lighting, I look like I'm being interrogated. Um, from Ronhurst, Kara Kissling submits the Penn State mug. We are Penn State. Always love a good mug with a personal connection. Keeps it simple too. Well done, Kara. She was very, um, she didn't want to enter this because she didn't think she would win. Guys, it doesn't matter. Just enter the mugs. It's fun. It's fun, guys. We like mugs. You don't have to win everything. You can just submit. We're having fun. I am. All right. Number three, we have the Nicolas Cage mug from Maddie Waldemate. This mug has a little bit more behind it. Um, you can't tell from the picture, but again, if you go to the profiles and you click through, you'll see a video. It is heat sensitive, so it's actually black when you pull it out of the cabinet. And then when you put coffee in it, it slowly reveals gorgeous Nicolas Cage and says, you're my national treasure. Good mug, good mug. All right. Next we have, oh, this is a good one. From Kevin Rick, Tony the Tiger Mug. Don't let the eyes deceive you. I know it looks a little simple. It's not. While we just have a picture of one of the greatest cereal mascots of all time, there's a little story behind this one too. Kev also had a Tony the Tiger Mug before this that he found at a thrift store and it broke. He gave up on ever finding his Tony the Tiger mug ever again. Three weeks later, another thrift store finds this. You, you, I mean, 
you can't write this stuff, guys. It's fate. All right. After that, we have Grumpy Joe Boy <laughs> from Joe Foley, who is coincidentally my, also my uncle. Now, when I received this mug in an email on a Saturday morning, I almost fell out of my bed from laughter. This mug is great because it's, I mean, one of the seven dwarves. You got all the little grumpy all over it. Check out the piece of the piece of painter's tape of which his name Joe Boy is written on it. I don't know what else I can say about that. The fact that he had, or he or somebody had to put a piece of tape and write in marker Joe Boy on it in order to show whose it is. Spectacular. Next, we have from all the way from Chicago. Wolvie's going global. All the way from Chicago, we have, I forget what it says. All work and no play makes Bill a very dull boy. So this is a Shining reference, the movie The Shining, which I had actually never seen. I had to look it up. Well, I knew what the movie was. I had to look up the quote and see whatever. I watched the whole scene. Very creepy. However, this mug is spectacular. It matches it perfectly. And and in the movie, it says, I believe it says um, Jack is a dull boy. It's from Bill Rick. He's got a little personalization on there. All work and no play makes Bill a very dull boy. Great submission. Next, we have, these mugs are all great, by the way. I'm picking them all up, and I'm just like, I, this decision this decision to make the three was very hard. I've been deliberating on it all day, not being sarcastic. Next, we have, from Mayfair section of Philadelphia, Kirsten Reagan submits the Farewell Lil' Sebastian mug. This is a Parks and Rec creation reference, the TV show. Lil' Sebastian is a tiny horse, and he is the best tiny horse was the best honey horse. He has since passed away. Every time we see this mug, we will pay our respects to the great little Sebastian. Next up, we have Mornings Are Rough. What I loved about this mug is that, well, the quality in the picture that I printed out isn't very great, but the dogs wrap all the way around the mug and they're all different. And then you also get a coffee pun on top of it too. Mornings are rough, R-U-F-F, -F, like a dog. Rough, rough. Great mug from the Kragerman. Running out of room. Am I running out of space down here? Kind of. Two more, all right. This one, I don't know if there's a submission, but I'm, we're talking about it anyway. This is from, you can tell it still had, I, guess where I got this from, pulled it directly from Instagram, so there's all this stuff written all over it. Luke's Diner from my own brother, Pat Foley. This is a Gilmore Girls reference. I don't care what you say, Gilmore Girls is a good show. It's a great show, in fact. Luke's Diner is a place in it. And another fun fact about this mug, and I, the reason I know it's great is because I purchased it. I did not purchase it for Pat. I purchased it for his wife, Laura. Pat yoinked it, posted it. Laura, too slow. Hashtag Gilmore boys. Nah, blocking them. And then last but not least, we have You Get Murdered First from CP, Chris Pendergast, the artist currently known as Aunt Chris. This mug, I, this mug is a, let me, I didn't put it up for long enough is a Schitt's Creek reference, another TV show. I have never seen Schitt's Creek. I didn't get the reference, and so I think the mug without the reference is hilarious. Imagine if you're just in like an office or if somebody comes over and stays over your house and they pull this mug out, and they haven't seen it either, and it's just, you get murdered first. So I would go without the reference, and that's hilarious for me too. So there are our February mugs. Video is running in the 10 minutes, holy smokes. So I'm gonna make this quick. The hot three, again, this decision was very tough. I am not kidding. Um, but you know, you gotta crown, you gotta crown a hot three. Sometimes you just gotta crown a hot three. 
All right, so the three that you will be voting on to crown the first ever Mug of the Month. The first one will be Tony the Tiger from Kev Rick. The thrift store story, the simplicity of the Tony the Tiger face, and then the, the mug handle being the towel. One of the better mugs I've ever seen, in my opinion. That's a hot one. Uh, where am I going? Next one that I nominate. Nick Cage. One, you get the Nick Cage and it says, you're my national treasure. But the fact that it changes from black into this when you pour coffee in, spectacular. I would be I would be pulling that out. Anytime I have a guest over, I'd be pulling that out and then just acting like nothing happened. Like Nicolas Cage did not just show up on the mug. And finally, the third mug for the hot three. This was the hardest decision I had ever had to make. I loved all of these mugs, but sometimes you just gotta make a choice and you have to go for more original ones, guys. That's what we're doing. So I've taken that in consideration. I'm going with Grumpy, Grumpy, Grumpy Joe Boy. The mug itself looks very old, which I, I think is great. And then I can't get over the tape, the piece of tape. That's, that's just too good. Why would you have a piece of elect or painter's tape on your mug with your name on it? I don't know, but it just got you a spot in the hot three, Joe boy. There you have it. And now the rest is up to you. Please vote. No stickers will be included for voting. He votado hoy. Okay. Bye. And... Cheers.